Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Welcome to today's lesson on accounting with a special emphasis on recording the opening entry. In our previous lesson, we have seen about the accounting equations. Let me remind you some of the main points. One of the keys to understanding financial reports is the concept that what a business owns must equal what a business owes to its creditors and owners. The balance sheet is the main report of overall financial condition. It shows the assets, liabilities, and capital of a company at a particular date. The relation of assets, liabilities, and equity is reflected in the following accounting equation. Assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. Let's begin today's lesson with how to start a new accounting system. A new accounting system should begin with a balance sheet because it shows the financial condition of the business at the time the new system is started. Students, the beginning balance sheet shows the beginning financial position of a business. Now, we are going to discuss how the opening entry is recorded in the accounting books. The opening entry is recorded in a journal. Students, have you ever heard of what journal is? The journal is a book of original entry. It is the first book in which the records of a business are written. It is a book where every economic event is recorded in chronological order. Each record in a journal is called an entry. The entry that records the information shown on a beginning balance sheet is called an opening entry. You should have some written evidence to support any entry. The business paper from which a journal entry is made is called a source document like receipt, memo, sales invoice, purchase invoice, and beginning balance sheet. The source document for making an opening entry is the beginning balance sheet. Now I want you to do the following exercise individually. You have two minutes. What is a source document? Provide a source document for making an opening entry in a newly established business.
students. Did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. A source document is the business paper from which a journal entry is made. It is evidence that the transaction has occurred. Example, like receipt, memo, sales invoice, purchase invoice, and beginning balance sheet. The source document for making an opening entry is the beginning balance sheet. Students, the nature of a business and extent of its activities determine the types of journals that are needed. A journal that is used to record only one type of entry is called a special journal. A journal that is used to record entries that cannot be recorded in special journals is called a general journal. The all-purpose two-column journal is called the general journal or simply the journal. It can be used for entries that do not fit into any of the special journals. For example, adjusting and closing entries are recorded in the general journal. By the way, in the absence of special journals, all transactions are normally recorded in the general journal. The two-column general journal shown here is used to record the beginning balance sheet. Parts of a journal entry are generally four. These are a date, a debit part, a credit part, and a brief description of the source document. The steps of recording the opening entry in journal are as follows. Step 1. Date of entry. Write the date of the opening entry in the date column. A. Write the year in small figures on top of the column. B. Write the month below the year on the first line in the first column. C. Write the day of the month on the first line in the first column immediately after the name of the month. Step 2. Debit part of the entry. Write the debit part of the entry. A. Write the name of each asset at the extreme left edge of the account title column. B. Write the amount of each asset in the debit column. Step 3. Credit part of the entry. Write credit part of the entry. A. Write the name of each liability and the name of the proprietor, followed by the word capital in the account title column. Indent each name about one half inch from the left edge of the account title column. Indent these items below to separate the debit part of the entry from the credit part. Write the amount of each item in the credit column. Step 4. Source of the entry. Write a brief description of the source document in the account title column immediately below the last credit item. Now I want you to do the following exercise individually. You have two minutes. List the steps of recording the opening entry in a general journal.
students. Did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. Step 1. Date of entry. Write the date of the opening entry in the date column. Step 2. Debit part of the entry. Write the debit part of the entry. Step 3. Credit part of the entry. Write credit part of the entry. Step 4. Source of the entry. Write a brief description of the document. Students, let us demonstrate the steps of recording the opening entry using the beginning balance sheet used in the previous episode. This is the balance sheet on the opening of the business. Record the opening entry in a general journal. Step 1. Date of entry. Write the date of the opening entry in the date column. Step 2. Debit part of the entry. Write the debit part of the entry. Step 3. Credit part of the entry. Write credit part of the entry. Step 4. Source of the entry. Write a brief description of the document. Now I want you to do the following exercise individually. You have two minutes. What is the purpose of writing sources of entry in a general journal? Students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's do the activity together. The purpose of the description or sources of entry is to identify the origin of the journal entry in case preference must be made to the source documents. Let me wind up today's discussion by summarizing the main points. Today, we have learned about the recording of opening entry. Basically, we have discussed the following. The journal is a book of original entry. It is the first book in which the records of a business are written. Parts of a journal entry are generally four. These are a date, a debit part, a credit part, and brief description of the source document. The source document for making an opening entry is the beginning balance sheet. 
Students, in our next lesson, we will discuss about standard forms of an account. This brings us to the end of our lesson today. See you next time in another program. Until then, goodbye teacher. Goodbye students. Thank you.